What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Triple THS. I'm the Don Ruckles of MMA, Tommy Toehold. Today, the King of Pop returns. I break down the greatest pay-per-view of all time, and Joe Rogan talks judges. Plus, a viewer comment of the week. Let's do this! <laughs> it don't matter if you're black or white. Anderson Silva took time out of his busy schedule of learning previously unknown techniques from Sensei Seagal, knocking out Forrest Griffin, and asking for more lemon pledge to do a cover shoot for Brazilian Rolling Stone. Silva's pictorial features the longtime champ as his idol, Michael Jackson, in various iconic MJ outfits. Not to be outdone, Chael Sun will be featured in this month's GQ as Bruce Springsteen, Men's Health as MC Hammer, and Esquire as Lady Gaga. Sensei Seagal will be featured in your local $5 bin. Best card of all time? Virtually a who's who of MMA royalty squaring off this Saturday at UFC 147. You'd be a total failure at life if you didn't buy this card. How was that? Good job, Tommy. Go ahead. You can make fun of it now. Thanks, boss. This car, which was originally set to feature one of the greatest moments in MMA history, with Silver Sun and 2 playing out a soccer stadium full of Brazil nuts, now features fighters like Marcos Vinicius Borges Pancini, that guy who beat Fedor, Glass Joe, and Lloyd Christmas. The card is just one of many recent events that's been butchered worse than Kevin Bacon at Crystal Lake. But the main event features two legends of the sport and could actually be pretty fun to watch. To hype up the fight, I've asked both main eventers to stop by. Vandy, I'll start with you. Why should I buy this card? <laughs> Hmm, okay. Uh, maybe we'll go with you, Rich. What's gonna make UFC 147 great? It's not looking too good, Tommy. We've got no big names. The card hasn't been promoted much. Our pets' heads are falling off! <laughs> that was pretty good, Rich. Would you say it was... Smoking? Rich, that didn't mean keep doing it. Oh, right, Rich. Sorry. Manny, anything to add? <laughs> Jesus, okay, guys. I'm sure we just sold a bunch of pay-per-views. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> the Majestic. Dewey defeats Truman. Between miscalculating rounds, scoring for the wrong corner, and straight up having no idea what's happening in the octagon, judges across the country are more hot water than Whitney Houston. Talk about the crisis, I've asked UFC commentator Joe Rogan and 10th Planet Master Eddie Bravo to come on the show. How's it going, guys? Doing awesome, dude. We're traveling through the astral plane. I see, and how'd you manage that? We're higher than giraffe gas, son. <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk about... Hold on, before we get started, Fleshlight, number one sex toy for men, Alpha Brain. I use it every day. If it's too expensive, make it yourself. Dude, I used that Fleshlight you gave me. It was awesome. Threw it away right afterward. Okay, so what's wrong with judging an MMA? Well, for one, I think it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on fighters, you know, not knowing what kind of officiating you're getting. Yeah, I mean, sometimes rounds should be scored 10-8 or 10-10. It would also help if judges knew more about MMA. I mean, dude, there's crocodiles that are real. They're alive, they're gigantic, they're like 30 feet long. They can hold their breath underwater for like hours at a time. They don't have to eat for a year. I mean, crocodiles are crazy. They're literally dinosaurs that are still alive today. Yeah, man, dinosaurs are crazy. Do you think that there are dinosaurs that are still secretly alive today? I don't think there's dinosaurs per se. Hey, wait a second, guys. How do we get on dinosaurs? Dude, try following along. What, what if we, we came into a village and some chimp is sitting there with a, a cell phone he made out of a coconut. We'd be like, whoa. 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 What happened to dinosaurs? We were talking about dinosaurs. Now we're talking about chimps with coconut phones, dude. But I thought, speaking of coconut phones, have you seen Tommy Morrison lately? Dude. He looks like F. Murray Abraham. Ha! <laughs> He does. Well, I cannot keep up with you guys, and I have no idea how we got here. But it's always fun hearing you two talk about random stuff. Take it easy, fellas. Viewer comment time. Nick took a vacation to the Stockton Chuck E. Cheese, so I had to find another replacement for Johnny while he sorts out his legal problem. Take it away, Goldie! Thanks, Tommy Holto. And here we go. This week's viewer comment is brought to us by the heavy-handed Silver Claw 4, who said, This show is worse than cancer. For a closer look at this matchup, here's our tale of the tape. Cancer has a slight edge in deaths per year, but all other stats are virtually identical. Back to you, Tracy. Moi Pai, Abu Dhabi, Randy Couture. I need to take a bathroom break. That's the show, Fight Fans. Tune in next Wednesday when I discuss TRT with Stitch. Until then, follow me on Twitter or check me out on my Facebook page. Be sure to check out all my friends in the description below. For everybody Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold. Frankly, Scarlet, I don't give a damn.